hi, I'm Vicky and I'm in the process of getting my kitchen done and as part of that I am reorganising every single cupboard in the space and my bags for life have been bugging me massively. I wondered whether I should like kind of buy some kind of organiser but actually you don't need to buy anything. I'm going to show you a super quick hack to organise all of your bags for life no matter what size, no matter what supermarket they have come from. So I'm starting off with one bag. This is gonna be my storage bag for all the other bags. Um, and you can just pick any of your sort of, rec the, pick your biggest bag or one of your biggest bags. Rectangular um, size is probably gonna be easiest here. Obviously you could put them in a drawer, but I'm choosing to put them in another bag. I currently don't have a spare drawer available, so this is just what works best for me. So starting off with this bag, this is one from Sainsbury's. I'm gonna get it really flat. So it's important to fold it down to how it originally would have been in the shop. So tucking in the sides, tucking in um, at the bottom there, get it super flat, flat as you can, which um, if you've used it for quite a while, it can be quite tricky to get it back, but those folds are still there. And then you're gonna fold it into thirds. So fold it from the bottom into thirds and then from the top, and then I fold it in half just like that and you get a super small package like that that goes into that bag so I'll show you this process a few times just to get used to it so bring the handles in that's quite important just to tuck those away and make it look neat and then again fold it into thirds and then fold that long rectangle that you get there in half you get a super flat package like that and it's important to keep smoothing it out as you go just to get rid of any air because it's the air in there that is going to make it take up more space so just keep smoothing it down got a, another waitrose bag here so again folding it into thirds flattening it right out to get rid of all of the air and then fold that in half super super easy so moving on to a tesco bag now exactly the same principle get it super flat tuck the handles in because that just makes it a bit neater and then again you're going to fold it into thirds and then with the Tesco bag I fold it in half once and half again and you just get a super small little square like that that can be really really easily stored away I'm just going to show you that a couple more times <laughs> So as you can see, what you're left with here is a super neat little line of bags, little row. You can just take one whenever you need it, pop it back in. I'm gonna keep this in the bottom of the cupboard that's in our kitchen. Um, but instead of taking up the whole floor space, it's now just tucked away nicely to the side there. Really, really hope you guys found this useful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.